Hello, I'm Dr. Katherine Meeks from the Absalom Jones Center, and I want to share today from a little book called The Invitation, a few lines, and then have a few words to say about that. It doesn't interest me to know where you live or how much money you have. I want to know if you can get up after a night of grief and despair, weary and bruised to the bone, and do what needs to be done to feed the children. It doesn't interest me to know who you know or how you came to be here. I want to know if you will stand in the center of the fire with me and not shrink back. It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else falls away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself and if you truly like the company you keep in the empty moments. I think that these are such wonderful uh, notions for us to pay attention to as we continue to navigate our way through this time of uncertainty and through this time of, of pandemics. It is so important to continue to focus upon what is the core sustaining message that we have been able to surround ourselves uh, by and that will keep us as we continue to ask new questions and navigate the new territory that keeps uh, unfolding for us. So I'm just wondering, uh, for those of you who are listening to this um, short inspirational message this week, what are those things that are sustaining? Where do you find the courage to keep going, to keep getting up, to keep face facing the uncertainty, facing the the many voices that keep welling up in us as we try to figure out how to go forward with a sense of integrity and and hold on to some capacity not to fall into despair. As we look at the numbers of cases that continue to rise in our country, as we look at the death rates that continue to rise, as we begin to send children back to school in the uncertainty of what will happen to them and if they're, if we've really done enough to create a really safe space for children and teachers. All of these things that we have ha are having to navigate our way through. And I especially think that people who are regular attenders to church are finding themselves growing more and more weary of having to do online church or abbreviated forms of worship from what they have been familiar with. And then there's all of the tragedy of people who are unemployed and people who are losing their places of, of abode because of, of inability to pay their rent. And the continue, continued threat of just contracting the virus and ending up sick and in the hospital or dying. <clears throat> Pardon me. So in this time, in this time of great distress, and uncertainty, what does sustain us? What keeps us being able to get up and go do what needs to be done? And when we're in the rooms by ourselves, do we like our company? Do we like the persons that we are? And and then an additional question, I believe, that goes with that is, who will we be when this is over? Someday it will be over, and who will we be? And will we be the people we need to be? I ask you to join me in walking with these questions, living with them, and holding ourselves to the task of answering them faithfully. Blessings to you.